Hi my beauties, welcome back. So today's video is a very exciting one for me. I am going to be doing my very first collab here on my channel and I will be doing a collab with three beautiful women here on YouTube. Their usernames here on YouTube are Melissa Rodriguez, Stacy K76, and Wonder Woman Diva. They are three absolutely beautiful women. They are talented. I love all three of their channels. I really think you guys should check all three of them out. I'll go ahead and list their names and information in the down bar below. And yeah, check them out. Subscribe to all three of them. Let them know that I sent you. We decided to do the top 10 under $10 for this collab. So yeah, it was kind of hard for me to go ahead and choose only 10 products just because there's a lot of products that I love that are under $10 and that are amazing products so it was kind of hard to part from some of those products but I did it. I chose 10 products only and yeah if you would like to see which ones I chose then please keep on watching. Okay, so the very first product that I will be sharing with you guys is a product that I've been obsessing over. I... I'm talking about Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I follow Patrick Star here on YouTube and because of him I decided to give this a try and I don't regret it. This face powder is amazing. I like setting my under eyes with this and it's amazing. It's only $7 I believe. It does vary in pricing wherever you pick it up at because I know that different stores have different prices. But I think I picked this up at Kmart and it was only $7. So yeah, if you haven't tried this face powder, you should definitely pick it up. It is amazing. Next product is a NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep Tan. Now this bronzer does look a little bit dark and a little does go a long way. But you know what? I fell in love with this bronzer because... I don't know, it just bronzes up my face really nicely and it doesn't like wash off your face within a couple hours like other drugstore bronzers do. And if I had to choose a drugstore bronzer, it would actually be this NYX one. I did want to replace this one for the City Color Little Palette one, the one that comes with the bronzer, the contour shade, and the highlight. But you know what? I don't know, I felt like this NYX bronzer was something that I reach out for more than the City Color palette. So yeah, this one will run you for $7. I buy all my NYX products at Ulta. If I really have to, I'll buy them at Target, but I feel like Target is a little bit more expensive. So yes, this is $7 at Ulta. The next product that I want to share with you guys is an eyeshadow. I had a hard time choosing the eyeshadow that I wanted to share with you. I didn't want to do any drugstore little palettes or anything like that because I don't really use those much. And the, the two brands that I was struggling over were the ColourPop Shadows and the Makeup Geek ones. I love both of them. I'm obsessed with both of them. But for some reason, I've been reaching out more for the ColourPop ones. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I love Makeup Geek. I've been using those a lot too. But recently, I've just been loving ColourPop shadows. And they are $5 per little shadow pot. And Makeup Geek ones are $6. So it's only a dollar difference. But I think both brands are amazing. And like I said, I have been doing uh, makeup tutorials with these ColourPop shadows. And yeah, I think they are just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. And... A little does go a long way with these shadows and they are super pigmented I barely even dipped my finger inside the little pot so if it doesn't look that pigmented it's because I barely put my finger in there I don't really like putting my fingers in my shadows but yes if you haven't tried ColourPop shadows please go ahead and do so at least pick up a couple of them and I'm pretty sure you'll be obsessing over them in no time. Next product is a liquid eyeliner and this one's by NYC. It's in black, obviously. And I've been in love with this eyeliner for over a year now. Since I first discovered it, it was like two years ago. So almost two years ago. So I have not been able to put this down. I have played around with other gel liners, liquid liners, pencil liners, but again, I always go back to my NYC liner. I just feel like 
I don't know the applicator that comes with it is just amazing for those wings that I love to create and it as soon as you apply it it turns completely matte but it doesn't turn into a matte that will crack if that makes any sense so that's why I love it and it stays on all day so yeah this is only three dollars which is amazingly cheap and you can find this at any store I usually purchase mine at Target because sadly Ulta does not carry the NYC line so yeah amazing eyeliner the next one is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I don't know why I got this one if I already had one opened, but I am not going to get up and grab my other one. This one is in taupe, and this is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I also have, but obviously it couldn't make it to this video because that's way over $10. But this one's $9.99, and I bought mine at Ulta, and... This one also comes with the little spoolie on the other side and the product is on the other end. This is a very, very good brow pencil. I love it. I use this one for those days where I don't want to reach out to my Anastasia Brow Wiz because let's be honest, that's a little bit more pricier. So I kind of tend to use this more on my lazy days where I don't where I'm not going out or anything like that. No special events. So yeah, this one again is only $9.99 and it is pigmented, it stays put, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't go anywhere, and that's why I keep repurchasing this because I'm in love with it. Now for the lips, I had to add a lipstick to this video because I've been obsessed with doing my lips even though my lips have been super dry and it's kind of hard to put lipsticks over that so that's why there's sometimes where I do makeup tutorials and I'm not wearing lip gloss. All I do is put chapstick but it's because I'm not going to put lipstick on and then it just looks all crappy and cracky and nasty so Anyways, the lipstick that I chose for this video was the Milani one, and I'm pretty sure you guys all are very familiar with this brand and with these lipsticks. I think these a lip a lipsticks. I think these lipsticks are super, super, super amazing. Oh my god, it reminds me of licorice. I always open this and I smell it, and I'm just like in love with it all over again. This shade is in Black Cherry, number 24, and these lipsticks are super pigmented. They are long-lasting. They don't smudge all over my lips like some other lipsticks do. I love Milani lipsticks. I have a crap load of them, and I keep repurchasing them over and over again. But these will run you for $5.99, so that's a very affordable price for an amazing lipstick. The next product, we are reaching at the end. So the next product is a foundation. I had to add a foundation to this video because, I mean, I wear foundation every single time I do my makeup. Unless it's the CC cream from It Cosmetics, but that was not going to make it to this video either. So this one is a L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N5 True Beige. And this one will run you for $9.99. Again, I buy most of my makeup at either Ulta or Sephora or Target if I really have to. But this is $9.99 at Ulta. And it is medium to full coverage. It doesn't slide off my face or anything like that not even in the heat i am in love with their infallible pro matte i think that's what it's called but that one's 13 dollars, so obviously i couldn't add that one to this video but this one works amazing as well and for concealer now this is i think the hardest of it all i could not i tried so hard but i could not choose one concealer i had to at least choose not choose but show you guys two of them and they are both under ten dollars it is the nyx hd concealer and this one is in 05 i love this nyx concealer i always purchase these all the time like as soon as i run out i restock on them like crazy I like to pick up quite a few concealers when they're on sale. They are creamy. They slide on nice and smooth under the eyes. They blend out like a dream. 
for some reason this kind of reminds me of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this one's only $5 again I love it the other concealer that I've been obsessed with is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in HD I'm sure you guys all know about this concealer as well and I don't know I just feel like both concealers are great for being drugstore concealers they are amazing and again they're super creamy they don't crease at all especially if you set them obviously they're not gonna crease but this LA Girl one I paid I pay three dollars for my LA Girl concealers I get them at this one little shop but I don't know they might be a little pricier at different locations I wanted to add a primer to this video a face primer and I was gonna show you guys the elf uh, primer but I decided to go with this little travel size by benefit it's the professional primer I am in love with this primer and I do have the full size as well but that the full size is a lot pricier so I decided to share the travel size with you guys which is only ten dollars which I think is a good price for it because you do get a good amount of product I get these little travel sizes for when I do freelancing that way I don't have to carry my full size one with me and I've had this for about I would say six months now and I'm still not done with it and I've used it on so many occasions because like I said I do freelancing that shows you how much product is in here and a little does go a long way okay and for the last product that I will be sharing with you guys I decided to do a skincare product since everything else was pure makeup and for the skincare product that I went ahead and picked was the Olay Regenerous uh, Micro Sculpting Cream it's a moisturizer and this is what it looks like I am completely in love with this moisturizer I picked up the little travel size because I wanted to try it out and make sure that it was something that my skin was gonna like and as you can see I'm almost out I am gonna go back to Target or Ulta and purchase the full size one travel size one was $9.99 it feels so good on the skin it doesn't feel clumpy or anything like that it moisturizes your your face really nice and I like to do this at night when I take all my makeup off it, it's just an amazing product overall and I really really do recommend that you guys pick this up if you get the chance to because it's amazing try the little travel size and see how your skin okay, likes so that it. concludes my top 10 under 10 I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh, like I said earlier I did have such a hard time choosing only 10 products because I can go on and on and on about different brands and different products that I love. But yes, I was going to show a couple makeup brushes, but unfortunately the ones that I was going to share with you guys were actually a little bit dirty. So yes, I know. I should go and clean them after I'm finished with this video. But anyways, yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 under $10. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Melissa's, Stacy's, and Michelle's channels. Don't forget to subscribe to them. Go ahead and let them know in their comment section that I sent you guys. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't done so already. And with that, my loves, I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video.